Hello there, Jen Russell coming to you with more tips and ideas on how to move well and feel better in your body. Today I'm going to go over some variations of a position called supine 9090. Supine 9090 is one of the most fundamental positions I start pretty much every client in. It's a very safe and stable place when we are on the ground, our nervous system automatically feels safer. We're not having to fight gravity as much. So it's a really great position if you're feeling stressed, if you're having an achy low back day, it's a great position to hang out in. So we're gonna get ourselves in this position. The core balloon that I've talked about before is still here. When we inhale, we wanna feel the top of that core balloon, which is our diaphragm that sits underneath our rib cage and our pelvic floor muscles should be moving as a team, which will encourage the abdominals to go into a stretched position. In this drill, and these, I'm gonna go through three variations today, I'm looking to really get you feeling connected to those abdominals. So I want you to exhale on a s or a sh. And just by virtue of doing that sound, that nice, strong, centralized um, airflow, you should feel your abdominals kick in a little bit more. So it's a really great way if you're struggling with feeling those abdominals working. Inhaling through the nose still, but exhaling long and strong with a s or a sh can be really great. So I'm gonna get myself down and into that position. The same positioning cues that I've gone through in every other video are still here. Imagine your neck is nice and long, your chin is staying tucked back, your chest is staying wide. These lower ribs are pulled down so that they're stacked over, over your hips and our hips are relatively even. So once we get into that suit by 90, 90, the hips even, uh, a really nice way to check in on that for yourself. You could also do this with your feet on a chair, but you wanna check that your hips and your knees are both bent approximately 90 degrees. Check in on those positioning cues, make sure that your neck's not going up into extension, your ribs aren't flaring up towards the ceiling. And now I want you to wrap your fingers around from the front to the back of your hips and I want you to tilt them back into the floor and forward towards the ceiling and find your Goldilocks of what feels relatively even, okay? And you can start out by just hanging out in this position just seeing how it feels. The first variation is going to be putting your hands on your thighs and you're gonna fill up with a nice big inhale through your nose and then as you exhale, I want you to push your thighs into your hands and your hands into your thighs. Make sure you breathe everything out on that exhale. What you should feel is these lower ribs kind of going towards your pelvis and your pelvis kind of coming towards your ribs, really getting some nice activation of those abdominals. So this is a really good place to start, to just see if you can find a little bit more power in those abdominals on the exhale. And the next variation is gonna be sort of a setup for the dying bug, which I see time and time again, people executing in really inefficient and frankly dangerous ways and not activating their, their core in the way that they should be in order to get the most benefit out of the, that drill. So this is a really nice way to just start getting the setup and getting stable in your trunk before you start flinging your arms and your legs around. So you can bring both arms up and the arms aren't gonna move. We're gonna start just by marching the feet. And the idea is that as you bring a foot away from the wall, your trunk should stay still. So we shouldn't be wobbling all over the place. If that happens, then you're not ready yet. And just work on that first drill. If you're able to march a foot away from the wall and keep the trunk stable, then the next progression would be to move your opposite arm as the leg on an exhale. And you'll see that I'm not moving very far. I just want to see if I can cross pattern opposite arm to opposite leg well. If I start going really far away, I might lose that trunk stability. So start out with the movement being relatively small. See how that goes. If it's easy, then you could start bringing the arm all the way back, bring the leg further away from the wall. Lastly, if we've determined in a session that you have a bias towards one side of the rib cage having a hard time filling with air, which is very common, especially on the right side, 
Then another way you could use this drill is to imagine that the left arm is relaxing away from your body, letting this upper trap on this left side relax down and away, and then bring the right arm up and imagine it's reaching up towards the ceiling and really imagining that you're breathing into the side of that right rib cage, really trying to inflate it with air on the inhale. And then on the exhale, imagine you're really trying to connect and contract the left abdominals. It's a very common pattern that we see because of the, the natural um, asymmetry that we all have. So that's just one more idea for how to utilize this drill. Inhale, roll to your side and push yourself up. So give it a go, give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, I'm always happy to help in any way that I can. Find connection to that breath, stabilize that trunk. You'll be winning at life. Have a good one. Happy spring.